This video is a part of the fulfillment for the assignment number 1 of the subject social media analytics. The aim of this assignment is to create a video on a chosen social media analytics tool to let others gain knowledge from the video regarding that tool. Before we begin with the video, I would first like to ask you a question. Suppose Leo is a gamer and wants to upload his gameplay videos on YouTube. He uploads a video on his YouTube channel titled My First Video. But despite his efforts, he was unable to secure views organically. The next day, he uploads another gaming video titled Building a Castle Mega Project in Minecraft Hardcore which gets popular among the masses and garners views from all over the world. So the question here is, why does this happen? Many of us will say that the title of the video played a major role in the exposure of the video and that's basically right. The first title seems generic whereas the second makes use of specific trendy keywords that help the algorithm suggest it more efficiently. So now, you may ask, how do we select keywords that are trending? For this purpose, we will be using an online tool called as Google Trends. So hello, my name is Neeraj Matre and today we are going to learn about Google Trends. But first, we need to understand some key terminologies that will ease our understanding process. So you may wonder, what are keywords? Keywords are ideas and topics that define what your content is about. In terms of search engine optimization, that is SEO, they are the words and phrases that searches enter into the search engines to discover content also called as the search queries. For example, in the previous example of video titled Building a Castle Mega Project in Minecraft Hardcore, the words Castle, Mega Project and Minecraft Hardcore are our keywords. Keywords can be classified into two basic types namely Fresh Keywords and Evergreen Keywords. So let us understand about each of these types in detail. Fresh Keywords Fresh keywords are those that relate to the latest trends. You can add these fresh keywords to your content to drive an immediate traffic. But expect this traffic to drop when the topic is no longer relevant. Also you will need to produce re relevant timely content to match the keywords. For example, Vikram is a tech reviewer who likes to review new technology. He comes to know that a new generation of iPhones, the Apple iPhone 14 has launched. So now, he reviews and uploads a video on YouTube titled iPhone 14 Unboxing and Hands-on Review. Initially, the video amasses lots of views, but as time progresses, the views start dropping by a significant amount. This is because Whenever a new technology such as a smartphone is launched, people are interested to know about its features. But as soon as time passes and other smartphones with new and updated technological features are introduced, the keyword loses its retention making the trend short-lived. Now let's see the evergreen keywords. Evergreen keywords are relevant all the time. You might notice some fluctuations, but they should be subtle. By including these keywords in your content, you can expect to get traffic all the time from the users who are searching for this information. For example, Dilly is a YouTuber who makes educational content on how to implement data structures in various programming languages. So what he observes is that even the videos he published years ago on the data structures are still garnering views since the data structures are the basic foundation of the programming which everyone has to learn. So the trend of learning data structures is evergreen throughout its lifetime. 
Now since we have an idea of keywords, let us understand what is a trend. A trend is the overall direction of a market, a general direction of change that is a way of behaving, proceeding, etc. that is developing and becoming more common. For example, chat GPT is the latest and current digital technology trend. But now the question arises, how can we utilize these keywords and trends in a favor? The answer is by performing analytics. But what is analytics you may ask? Analytics is the scientific process of discovering and communicating the meaningful patterns that can be found in data using maths, statistics and machine learning. Now that the background is clear, let's talk about Google Trends. Google Trends is a free tool that analyzes the popularity of Google search terms using real-time data. While Google Trends is accurate, it doesn't show the actual amount of traffic. It shows the number of queries made in relative percentages on a scale of 0 to 100. It shows users what people are searching for as impacted by time, season and location. You can then use that information to inform your marketing strategy. Some of peculiar features of Google Trends are as follows. To find currently trending topics, to identify social trends, to optimize your local search engine optimization strategy, to monitor your competitors. So now let's take a look at the Google Trends website and all of its features. First open any browser of your choice and then type in the URL for Google Trends. Now as you can see, we are going to click on the first link that appears. So as you can see, this is the homepage of Google Trends website. On the top left corner, we have all of the different options such as explore where we can search how keywords are performing. Then we have the trending searches option where we can view all the latest trending keywords that are being used by the people and how many searches are being done. Then we have the year in search where we can see all of the trending searches of all of the previous years by the categories. Lastly, we have subscriptions where we can subscribe to get the regular email updates regarding different trends. Then we have the normal help and feedback. Now as we can see in the top right hand corner we have the regions list where we can select on which geographical location do we want to base our research from. So let us for time being select India. Then there is a feedback option to provide suggestions to improve the platform and to report the bugs. So as you can see this is the feedback option. Now on the home page, we have the search section to check for the trend of a keyword, below which we also have some of the examples of the popular keywords. So here we can see this is the example of the World Cup which happened recently. Then coming down. We also have a featured section of all the trending keywords of previous year. Going further, we have all of the currently trending keywords that people search for and all of the trends for the previous years. Now let's take a look at how to analyze trends for keywords. So first, select any keyword. So let's say 
वन पीस विच इज अ वेरी पॉप्युलर मांगा सिरीज सो हिय वी कॅन सी वेरियस पॅरामीटर्स सच अस लोकेशन विच वी कॅन चेंज टू अनालाइज हाऊ दिस कीवर्ड ट्रेंड्स इन डिफरंट जिओग्राफिकल लोकेशन्स वी ऑल्सो हॅव अन ऑप्शन टू व्ह्यू द वर्ल्ड वाईड ट्रेंड गिव्हिंग अ क्लिअर आयडिया अबाउट इट्स वर्ल्ड वाईड एक्सपोजर नेक्स्ट वॉट वी हॅव इज द टाईम रेंज विच प्रोवाइड्स अस द डेटा रेंजिंग फ्रॉम पास्ट टर टू अबाउट एटीन इयर्स ऑफ डेटा हिस्ट्री सो वी कॅन ऑब्झर्व अँड डिसाईड हाऊ द ट्रेंड वेरीज ओव्हर द इयर अँड इफ इट इज अ फ्रेश कीवर्ड ऑर अन एव्हरग्रीन कीवर्ड द नेक्स्ट पॅरामीटर वी हॅव इज ऑफ द कॅटेगरी विच लेट्स अस फोकस ऑन द कीवर्ड अनालिसिस ओव्हर अ स्पेसिफिक कॅटेगरी सच अस आर्ट्स अँड एंटरटेनमेंट शॉपिंग फिनान्स बिझनेस अँड इंडस्ट्रीयल कम्प्युटर्स अँड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एक्सेट्रा विच इन टर्न हेल्प्स अस आयडेंटिफाय हाऊ द कीवर्ड्स परफॉर्म्स इन अ नीश कॅटेगरी अनदर पॅरामीटर वी हॅव इयर इज द टाईप ऑफ सर्च वी वॉन्ट टू ऑप्टेड फॉर सर्च अस यूट्यूब सर्च द वेब सर्च इमेज सर्च अँड गुगल शॉपिंग टू गेट अन इन्साईट अबाउट द क्वेरीज पीपल मेक सो फॉर द रिजन लेटस कीप इंडिया ॲज इट इज अँड फॉर द टाईम रेंज लेटस सिलेक्ट द पास ट्वेल्व मंथ्स For the category, we will select the arts and entertainment category and for web search, we are going to keep it as the YouTube search. So, as we can see, after we set all of these parameters as per our target requirement, we see the graph of interest over time for the given keyword. As we can see on the x axis it has the timeline and on the y axis it has the numbers of queries made in relative percentages on a scale of 0 to 100 Here in we have the options to download this graph data as a comma separated value csv file in order to perform the further analysis we can also use the embed option to get a script which helps us embed the graph in our website also using the share option we can share the graph to any of the provided social media platforms going further down we can see the interest by region section as the name of this section implies we can have a detailed view of search interest based on the geographical location it can be done based on either the sub region which is basically the different states or based on the city if we want to focus on a specific location similar to the interest over time section we have the options to download the data to embed the graph on the website and to share it on the social media platforms we also have the option to include low search volume regions which for example can help the businesses determine where to focus on marketing next up we have two sections namely related topics and the related queries that help us determine which are the corresponding topics that are most widely used with respect to a given keyword and the queries that people make that are related to a keyword we can sort these lists based on either the rising interest or based on the top trending now let us understand about both of these options firstly top the most popular search topics or queries fall under the top scoring is on a relative scale where value of 100 is the most commonly searched topic or query 50 is a topic or query searched half as often as the most popular topic or query and so on now moving towards rising 
the topics or queries with the biggest increase in the search frequency since the last time period are for, uh, under the rising results marked with the breakout have the tremendous increase probably because these topics or queries are new and had if any prior searches so another important feature in google trends is that we can compare the initial keyword with another keywords such as let us compare a initial search term that is one piece with another keyword which is attack on titan which is another famous manga so in the interest over time section as we can see the blue one represents a initial keyword while the red one represents a new keyword so by infer by comparing these two we can infer that the blue one is more trending as compared to the red one now comparing the breakdown by the sub region we can infer that the blue one is highly trending in india whereas the red one is sparsely seen now moving towards the next section we have the interest by sub region and the related queries for both of these keywords and they represent how these keywords are trending among different parts of the india so using this tool we can find out new and popular trending keywords helping us gain more exposure among the masses and cater to a larger group of people Yes.